Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. new episode of the Lev First Show. We are coming at you. Got two amazing guests in the building. The great Derek Drescher returning. Stirring his coffee like a little fucking bitch. From on the gate fame, you know what it is. You already know. <laughs> we got Harry Stiddle in the building. No, Stiddle. <laughs> no longer little Sasquatch. <laughs> this is big. He dropped the name. In my lifetime, Harry dropped the name. Yeah. yeah. Sass became hair. He has a brand new Don't Tell set out on YouTube now. It's very, very funny. Thank you. Very proud of my boy. When Harry met Sassy. He's a good, he's a good <laughs> funny guy, man. Go check that out. Go check out Harry Stanton's <laughs> Don't <laughs> Tell. <laughs> you know why they call those sets Don't Tell Comedies? Because no one tells jokes. Because they don't. Yes. Come on, folks. Uh, would love to do one. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't. No. They could suck my dick. That's what I'm that. talking about. But I'd have to, you know why they can't suck my dick? Because you can't see it. Have to bend over first. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just fucking around. Um, yeah, but check out Harry's Don't Tell Set. He's a great uh, He's a great guy, great egg. What made you do the uh, the name change? Uh, I just didn't want it to be out under that. The little yeah, Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I it. also didn't want, um, it was sponsored by Dr. Squatch. I saw that, yeah. And then they were bringing me up. They were like, just a little Sasquatch, and I was like, no. I was like, like oh, the soap. You decided then? <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to do it already, but yeah. when I got there, I was like, it's going to seem like I'm like a mascot. Yeah, for yeah. The show. yeah. Like, Yo, yeah. the soap guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's a yeah. fucking guy. doctor now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just like a character of yours. Yeah. <laughs> You're like a lab coat. Yeah. <laughs> this audience, I'm going to prescribe some jokes. This audience stinks. <laughs> Here's some soap. <laughs> Good stuff, folks. I mean, we might as well wrap it up now. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to get no better. Started than hot. Uh, if you're listening to this on Thursday, tomorrow night, if you're in or near New York City, headlining at Rodney's Comedy Club, please come on out. It's going to be a great night. Um, show starts at 730 at Rodney's. Pull up. Let's have a great time. Mm. And uh, September 25th, Chicago. I will be playing Zany's Chicago. So come out to that. Which one, Old Town or by the airport? I don't know. Probably Old Town. Yeah. Probably the, da- the real one. Pr- yeah, I think so. Yeah, the yeah. real one. Um, so check that out. Come on out to Zany's in Chicago. Show some love there. Spread the word. Um, I just got trolled on the way over here. By who? Yeah. I went to the bodega to get a water, right? I bought this water, Essentia. That's my favorite brand. It's the best water. It's good. See, the light, go light bulbs go off as soon as you mention it. <laughs> um, <laughs> as I, I'm checking out, I put a 50 on the counter. The guy goes, Wow. <laughs> He goes, and he like really like took a, like a long time. It took about a minute, and he was just like, "Wow, yeah, mmm." He didn't examine the fifty. I go, "Do you have a change for that?" He goes, "I mean, yeah, but holy shit!" <laughs> 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 like he was really trolling me. Yeah. I didn't realize it until after I left. I was just like, "Yeah, you can't be this impressed by a fifty, big dog. This is a five dollar water." Yeah, I mean the, bo- the the classic bodega move is they go you you get a water and they go that's going to be two thousand dollars. <laughs> I've never heard. that. You've never heard no. that? Oh, I get that all the time. Have you ever had them try to sneak the prices up on you like late in the night or something? You get- no. No? Well, also, I just don't know the prices yeah. at every bodega. I've gotten guys. You're like, I know it's a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, bud. I bought a chopped cheese and fries from the same bodega for about three years. Yeah. And one day they like clean the sign or move something, and uh, you're supposed to get a free soda. Oh, uh, so I was like, wow. you guys owe me like three hundred crates of soda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been into your house, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, this guy really fucked. Uh, I mean, I like I like him fucking around. He really made an ass out of me, you know. But it's fine. That's fair. Um, big news, folks! I am officially in a weight loss challenge. Yeah, heard about I've this. heard about this. This is like making noise throughout the whole. You heard about this? Whole yeah, scene. everyone was talking about it. Who, who was talking Dude, about this? From the, yeah, everybody. Give from me the names. To the biggest. <laughs> There's a fucking rat in my crew. Yeah. Just because I posted it to an Instagram story doesn't mean everybody should be running them out. From op- open micers to people on SNL is talking about. So it. here's what happened. Eric wanted to place a bet actually. 
actually. No. On if you aso- like get a little side action in. No Puerto Ricans. <laughs> Sorry. Unreliable payers. <laughs> uh, I was sitting at the cellar with uh, Marcelo Hernandez and Ari Shafir, and I think Marcelo. Okay, so that's where the money's coming from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Marcelo initiated it, and he was just, he said something like, um, for, for like 2,500, would you like lose 50 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good Marcelo. I was yeah. like, I was like, maybe. Uh, I was like, I, I, I don't know. And then he goes, he, and then immediately he was like, Ari, would you get in? And he was like, Yeah, I'd get in. And then I was like, He's like, That's five grand. Lose fifty pounds, six months. Can you do it? And I was like, But then they go, There's a stipulation. If I don't hit the hit it in six months, I have to post a completely uh, topless, serious thirst trap. <laughs> Oh. On Instagram with no context. Oh, yeah. dude, that will go. That will hit hard. That dude, post. that's like my worst nightmare. I generally had to think about it. I was like, I don't know if I would do that for five grand. <laughs> really? Yeah, I like really had to think about it. And then right then, Artie Fuqua came in, and, they, and uh, Marcel was like, Artie, you want in? And he was like, Yeah, I'll help him lose weight. So now it's up to seventy five hundred. Seventy five hundred bucks, twenty five hundred a piece. So then David Tal walks up. Dave hears all the rumbling. He goes, What's going on here? They go. Uh, we play seventy five hundred bucks. Lev has until February twenty eighth to lose fifty pounds. Don't tell me he's in too. Attell pulls out a crispy ten dollar bill. Says, <laughs> "Here's ten that says he won't make it to February." <laughs> 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 so we had a real, uh, real fun hang about this. But we are locked in. So it's been, I think, exactly one, one day short of a week. When <laughs> I the night before I weighed in, I, I was shocked. I thought it'd be about three eighteen on the high end. So and I'm like I gotta go out with a bang, you know. It's the night before you gotta jump your weight up. Yeah. So I had some fucking Popeyes. I had a Twix bar. I thought about getting some milk. This man. motherfucker, bro. Guess what I, I do that in every at? night. Every night. Three I'm seven. Like, three I'm sixteen. Like this last night. I weighed in at three hundred and thirty three point seven pounds. Shit. Yes. Wrote yes, down. sir. Wrote it yeah, down for right. You need to screenshot <laughs> that and make that your fucking screen Don't worry about what I'm doing over here, all right? So you got to get down to 280. Just because you're a doctor. I mean, you look at my notes. Yeah, Dr. Squatch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was fucking blown away. And then, uh, so the next morning, I, I texted the boys. I was like, 333.7. I was like, I can't fucking believe it. Marcelo said, we're going to, that's ridiculous. We're capping it at 330. It's your starting grade. I was like, you know, that's fair enough. So why? Because it's easier to lose weight if you weigh. The more. fatter you yeah, are, yeah, yeah the yeah. quicker you'll lose weight. Yeah. So it's a, but he shouldn't have been able to cap you down to three hundred. You know, that's up for debate. No, three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah. So I have to get to two eighty by February twenty eighth. If I do, I'm gonna make seven and a half grand. If you see a really disgusting photo of me, just know I lost the bet yeah, at some point yeah, in a few yeah. months. Um the other thing is uh what was I gonna say with this? 330 to 280. Oh, so t- now I'm weighing in at 324.9. So you've lost nine pounds. No, no, no. Yes, Eight, technically. About, but yeah. on paper, from the challenge, I'm down about five. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because so, they knocked you down damn, to 330. You lost nine pounds already? Yeah. Oh, bro, it's, he, he but it's kind of a bullshit this... night because yeah, it's Popeye's yeah. inflated. He, yeah. could do this in, <laughs> he could do this in three months. Now, let me ask you. If 50 you, pounds in three months is If crazy. you do 50 in three months, can you? is it over? If I hit, I think the weight was too... I'm guessing I, I got to get this confirmed, but I'm guessing if I hit like 270, it just ends the challenge. Okay. Because we did say there was like a weight that if I do hit that, the challenge is just over. I get. Paid. Lev, I, what I, if you hit Lev, 270 by like I can, by like November, and then by February you're like 450? Yeah, I know you just blow. <laughs> I, if right I don't back hit up. that, cer- well, this is what I thought would be hilarious. If I get halfway there, and yeah. then they go, "We'll double it if you gain it back." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd have to gain it back. That's your dream, right there. You do that in a week. <laughs> the damage that would yeah. do to my body. <laughs> Lev, I, I can get you there. There in three months. But this is the thing. Somebody actually just said to me the other day at the cellar, they're like, why don't you start going to Con Body? And I was like, it's all the way fucking downtown. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm golfing. Yeah. So they yeah. made me feel like an asshole. Derek yeah. Angel's like, oh, what else are you doing? Are you bowling more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, no, golfing is not bad if, if you're, you're walking, walking the yeah. holes. Yeah, I'm at the driving range. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking knew it. No, but I'm, I'm, here's the thing. I'm learning how to golf. I would go to the driving range, and then I walk home. It's like three miles home. Yeah. Is there a stairwell in your building? No. No. Oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Also, so, don't you yeah. live pretty high up? Sixth floor. Dude, just up to the 20th every day. Fuck that. Oh, Lev. That's, that's not a big deal. Awful. No, it's not. It's not a big It's not bad. 20 flights Lev, of stairs. Dude, if I'm leaving Lev, the train I and I have to take you... one flight of stairs, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm the most racist, hate filled <laughs> person for that 30 seconds. Dude, I can get you here. And not, and not even combody. I'm, I could get you here literally in three months. You What's just, the plan? 15,000 steps a day. Oh, my God. You know Dude, what I mean? They want you to do shit. Yeah, That's only seven miles. 
Oh, really? Oh. One Bro, more and it's your favorite movie. Worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ra- rather say 15,000 than No, seven that was great. Miles. Can we get something I'm in a form? deficit. I'm performing in a deficit. I just want everybody to know. If I'm a little grouchy or crazy, I quit cigarettes. I'm <laughs> calorie counting every cigarettes, day. You need cigarettes. I need cigarettes. You need cigarettes. You need cigarettes. <laughs> Sass, you're 22 That's years old. That's how you lose weight. I maybe have to start smoking. I'm yet. not 22. I'm 23. I felt short. Are you 23? Yeah. This is awful. <laughs> That's a real. I mean, you know that. That just no, I didn't know you that. Absolutely, I thought you were like twenty six by now. No. I thought you started <laughs> catching up. We just met Sass six months ago. That's amazing. That's you're for twenty three years old. You are a fucking good comic. He's an old Thank soul. You. Good job. He's an old soul. Good work, Sass. Hard work. Here comes the regression now. That's the name of his next. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> He's like black people. <laughs> <laughs> he starts getting really racist. He does shade like he does shades initial moves. He's like, he just goes to racist to Asians. <laughs> what? It's not funny when I do it. <laughs> Where's my cavalry? <laughs> just tickets plummeting. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm fucking. I'm, I, I do need to get my steps up. I think if I can just lock in at even twelve thousand steps a day with calorie counting i think that'll get me there start at 10 start at ten thousand steps a day and 10 start at 10 flights you look like you should be wearing a do-rag i know like doesn't he look like a white guy who should have cornrows oh absolutely you could you should get cornrows is ten thousand steps but is it does it matter Ten thousand steps is five miles but does it matter how you're getting them no no dude it's all about what do you just, mean like just, he said he said and 10 flights of stairs a day just you're incorporate that steps. into the fifteen thousand. but if you get in the steps regardless does it matter the flights are good because it, it raises your heart raises rate. Your heart rate. Yeah. The problem is if I start doing steps in my building, like I'll just wake up the whole building. <laughs> like just all my neighbors will hate me. People are gonna be like, "Is there a fire? Why are you taking the fucking stairs?" Babe, 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 the building shape. Is there a fire <laughs> downstairs? Why are you taking it up? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, so yeah, I got to I got to I think first week five pounds that's great. If that I is. can maintain even just three four a week, that'd yeah. be fucking stellar. I'm yeah. eating salads and shit. Right. Even I think if I'm eating like twenty seven hundred calories a day, I'm still like in a pretty big deficit. Yeah. Because I'm I think I burn about like thirty six hundred to four thousand a day. Frank the Tank lost like a hundred two hundred pounds or some shit by just walking. Really? He was that's also like five hundred pounds. I'm to tell you guys. Where is he's, where is he's, he's, he's at like three eighty now. <laughs> He's at 380. He lost how much? I think he 120. Lost like 100. Holy fuck. If he was 500, have you ever seen him? What was he, an affirmative action hire? What the fuck is this? He's fucking massive. He was massive. hired a bed man. <laughs> He's huge. Is he tall? <laughs> no. Oh. It's like 4 to 11. Was this a bar stool guy? Yeah. Oh. He's wow. a celebrity. Really? He's like the most famous person at bar stool. That's awesome. What does he do? Yeah. I thought Big Cat was. He's like, uh, he got famous because he got, he, he got in a, he was, a, he has like, Outbursts where he gets like really angry. Yeah, yeah. about and, sports. Yeah, about People sports mostly. That. And he, but he had a, oh, a yeah, meltdown. Oh yeah, he went on a rant last night. I saw it. He had a meltdown at the Met because he, the, the New or the New Jersey Transit made him late for the Mets like home opener, <laughs> and it was like all of a sudden it was like on live TV. Like he was being interviewed <laughs> on like ESPN and shit. That's and then great. Barstool hired him. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we gotta look him up. I feel yeah. like I've seen this. There guy. he is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. But he's, he's old. old. What? He's old. Yeah, he's in his 50s. Yeah, he better lose weight. Dude. I mean, that's what I'm going to look like. Well, he's I'm, lost. That, I'm, that's I'm, an old photo. He's lost weight. Bro, that, oh, that reminds me. I can't do Ozempic during this challenge. I was going to say, is there any cheap There's also, yeah, I, That I, is the stipulation. I could get you other things. Really? That are not Derek's Ozempic. on, like, like a little weird... joke book? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm on so <laughs> much shit right now, dude. Such a specific joke. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Derek's on all sorts of weird ass like vitamins and what are you yeah. on? He's telling me that like he has to like go to the post office to pick them up because the carriers refuse to bring them to his house. That's not what happened. A it bunch of weird sitting. shit. They're like they're like, I don't want my hands on this yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, well, you can order any drugs from the deep web now. Well, the thing is, this it's the not even web. on the deep web; it's on the regular web. But you, you're playing roulette with all that stuff because it all comes from China anyway, and yeah. the potency is sometimes very good, sometimes very low. Yeah, you know, well, you don't everything know we order drug wise, you got to test. Yeah. Well, yeah, but testing it costs like another two hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. Well, when, when you're dealing with what you, when you're dealing with the lab at NYU, and yeah. <laughs> needles, you get like boot like you who's and shit. <laughs> yeah, I, you- injected, <laughs> uh, I inject. I inject. It's got the real sugar in it. <laughs> Are you not worried that you're that you're injecting something again? Is that not like a trigger? What are you getting? No. Peptides? Yeah, peptides. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right into the injury area, right into the... Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Imagine yeah. a needle in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been shooting right here, right in the top left cheek, because my fucking sciatica's been bothering me. What but the it, fuck is sciatica? It's a nerve. 
That goes sciatica. Sciat? Yeah, you never heard of sciatica? I thought that was like a medication. No, sciatica. You'll that have sounds it. Sounds like something. You'll have it soon. Okay. Yeah, you it's promise? a nerve that runs from your leg up to your back. Why will I have it soon? Is it contagious? <laughs> 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 you should have warned us. You all got it. You're being sciatic in here. I got to tell you guys a real fucking horror story that happened to me the other night, boys. Yeah. I was uh, I was doing a set at the cellar. I'm in, I'm in the original room, my favorite room in the fucking world, yeah. right? I go on stage. I'm a minute in. I'm like, this crowd is hot. Yeah. The next second, I'm immediately, I it hits me <laughs> that I have to shit right now. Oh. oh. Yeah. Like, I knew it had something to do with shit. Dude, I literally like that never happens to me on stage. It hit me. I felt the shit go to the end of my colon. Ooh. It like immediately flew down and I just my brain was just going, There's enemies at the gate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. sent you its itinerary. It was like, cool. Yeah, I'm on my way out. And yeah. and I'm just like going through the set list and sweating profusely. I I'm not imagine. sweating. For some reason I'm not sweating, but every single joke, all I'm thinking about is, <laughs> oh my God, how close am I? Yeah. Right. And I and then and so I'm like Okay, I think I can make it to the to the end of the set. It's like 12, 13 minutes. I think I got this, right? Next thing I know, I'm like three minutes in. Audience is fucking amazing. But I'm just not there. Like, right. everything's hitting. Everything's right. They can't tell. I'm like, and, and then they're like this. Did you tell them? So I, at one point, I bend over for a joke, and I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. Oh. Like, oh. And then I look at my hand during an act out, and my hand's going way faster. <laughs> then it's like the energy is flying out, you know? And I'm fucking, and I'm having this debate in my head the entire time. I'm like, do I tell them? I go, yeah, do I tell them to bring the host back down? Because I might, and, and I'm like, no, it's going to look insane. Like, yeah. you, it's going to look like something's wrong. You're going to fuck this show up. Don't do it. Right. And then I thought, but and then I pictured the camera upstairs just showing an empty stage, yeah. and, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I might just have to dart off this stage, and yeah. nothing will happen. Like then, what are they gonna do? Like, and uh, and then I'm thinking I, that toilet is so tiny in there. I'm just, it's gonna look insane if yeah. I'm just like sorry, oh, and I just yeah. go running out. And of it's the gonna place. make it. Everyone's gonna know, and like within a couple minutes, it's gonna look like I freaked out. Yeah, like yeah, it's gonna yeah. look fucking crazy. Yeah. So finally, as I realized, I go, oh, I, I like. I'm not holding this in. This is like, pray to God. Like, this is the. What did you eat? This is the finish. I had Chick fil A that day. Dude, oh. Chick fil A does it to me. Dude, yeah. the sauce. Constantly. I can't the eat Chick fil A. Did you have mac no, and it's cheese? Anything. No, dude, it's just the sandwiches. Like, the I can't spicy sandwiches. sandwich, I think there's something in that mug, dude. I think they're <laughs> cooking it with like peanut oil. Just or old something. oil ass oil yeah. they haven't replaced. Yeah, it, it, so it's a 50 50 for me. If Did I you eat, make it through the set? So, this is what I do I'm in the middle of two jokes. They're yeah. laughing, and I'm like, you know, I'm doing show performance, yeah. and then I just look to the waitress and I go, "Tell the host to come down." <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, oh, dude, you gotta put that up. I swear to you God, you gotta I put go, that up. I go, "Tell the host to come down." I'm not feeling well. And then, yeah. <laughs> and right back, right back, and I go, "I have diarrhea." <laughs> and they're like, "What?" And the then, crowd. Yeah, and as I said, like, I'm not feeling well. I could feel like all of a sudden concern. Yeah. From the crowd, and they're like, they're like, this is, you're gonna, like, they're like this is a big boy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I think they. I'm thought... taking one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they thought. I think they thought, "Oh, is he about to pass out or something? Yeah. He's a diabetic." What's yeah. Wrong? <laughs> so literally, like, all of a sudden it was concern. Hey, can you get the waitress? I can't feel my feet. Yeah. Can you guys? <laughs> so that's how you know you're doing yeah. well, because like, if if you're bobbing and you're like, "I don't feel well," they'd be like, "Good." Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the awareness. Sit here and imagine she was just like sit, sit on the stool. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Uh, so, dude, it just like looks so unhinged, and I'm just like going through the set, and finally I'm at like eight or nine minutes, and the, I see the host come down. He's like, just who, who is the host? Eric Newman. Okay. So he's giving me a heads up, like, hey, I'm here. He's standing in the doorway, and. Uh, and as soon as I see him, I, I feel a little relief. That's what always happens. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, uh, like a placebo almost. It's yeah. like you ever go on a drive with like your parents and you're and you're like when you're young, and yeah, you're like, yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yep. And then you get there and you're like, Yeah, I, I don't, have to, I don't have to go nearly as much as I thought I had to. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's the fear. It's like when you're yeah. going to get heroin and it. you know that it, you're actually about to get it, it like makes you yeah. a little bit more sick. So he came down and he classic, he, 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 classic he, experience. He came down, he, he uh, and I saw him there, and then I was like, "All right, I think I'm all right." And then I kept going, but then towards the end of the set, it again, came it back. was just so one track. Well, it comes in waves. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah for it, sure. It hit me so one track that by the end of it, I was like, "I, you know, like you're making decisions through the whole yeah. set. Should I do this joke now? Should I close with this? Should I do that?" That was all gone. It was yeah. like. First impulse was what was happening. Yeah. yeah. So the whole set was You're just going on instinct. Strong set, except for the last joke. 
I was just I just did the last joke wrong. Last joke, just, you, you shit the stage. Yeah, I shit the bed because I was just like, and what's funny is I was, and and then I, I got off like a minute early, uh-huh. just because he came down and lit me a minute early because he was like, oh, something's wrong, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So then I got off, fucking, I bailed out of there, handled my business, and then, and then you got to come back thirty minutes later, yeah, mm-hmm. covered in sweat, pay the check. Yeah. Like, yeah. and apologized yeah. to everybody yeah. so like it was like a, it was a fun set and I, I was like i could not believe it now i have this fear with like every set that, that i'm like to shit. Yeah. it's gonna hit me you know because i'm also now i'm eating clean and the weight change i'm going to bed earlier that's true. all these things are like fucking... you're gonna be shitting a lot of that stuff that's in you out now i could have shit for like three a... days like yeah. the other day i finally fucking let... was it a nice solid one yeah yeah it was it reminded me of you <laughs> <laughs> dude that happened to me at the stand and i had to uh i think you might have been hosting but yeah. i was like well, you gotta wait at the door the entire set because i was like I, I yeah i'm gonna get off at any yeah. second yeah yeah th- and he made me wait at the door while he was shitting too <laughs> <laughs> well because i was mid diarrhea yeah. i was mid diarrhea and i was like i'm gonna have to go up and i know there's way more of this that's yeah. where that uh that diarrhea joke came from right when you said you shit halfway up your back is that oh, where that the came acoustics from acoustics jokes right yeah yeah, yeah. i like uh, that joke you know i was sad in your don't tell you to do the dolphin joke yeah, I, I thought about that. that, but then I was like, "Where to fit it's it? It's gonna get like demonetized or some shit." Yeah, yeah. it's a fucking it's, it's, also, it's a dolphin those... joke, but it's a rape joke. Yeah, yeah. it's a rape joke, and those crowds are. Uh, I know. Not... You get there, and it's like all like hot people. I was yeah. looking at some of the comments people, though on yeah. the uh, on 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 the set, and people were like, "This guy have a stomach ache or something?" Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit about <laughs> that. <laughs> of course, you give a shit. Why would you bring that up on him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I don't bother. the The posture stuff doesn't bother me at all. No it's one like, here has ever rented a U-Haul. <laughs> it, well, dude, no. I was having a fucking panic attack for the first two minutes why? of the set. I was the most nervous I've ever been. Really? Yeah. Dude, why? Well, you got there, there's like massive cameras yeah. everywhere. There's like a 400-person crew. Dude, it's so scary. Watch for Instagram. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's for YouTube. But watch Julio Diaz's, uh, when... watch his, watch his, uh, his Netflix YouTube set, because he keeps swinging his hand. What dude? are you doing here? And, and what are you doing? Who's He's doing that? Attacking mannerisms of people? He, people are like, yo, this guy have Tourette's or something? <laughs> <laughs> like that is he have Parkinson's because the whole set he's just like no I mean and the, everyone <laughs> did say that in the my opening joke that I was like super tight and fast and it was like yeah dude I was sh- like out of body nervous oh yeah anytime you're nervous for a set yeah the first two minutes you're, you're racing yeah you're racing. yeah and then you have to slow down yeah and fucking relax yeah did I ever tell you the shitting story with Shane no. no, I never told you this story. So this was. Oh like, no, yes, I think you did tell I told me this, this story. This was like years ago, back when I used to host. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, so Shane, <laughs> Shane had years really, ago. Yeah, it's fucking probably eight months two, ago, three years ago. So no, it was probably like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. So Shane hadn't like <laughs> popped yet. You know what I mean? But yeah. So I, he was going first on a, on a show I was hosting at the stand. It was, must have been like a ten o'clock show. There was yeah. Like, it was a small show, like fifteen people there or something. Yeah. Like, weekday. Yeah. So. The at the time the the manager was working there goes hey um, we're gonna start the show we're me and Shane are standing right by the side of the room and she's like we're gonna start the show Lev you ready and just as she says that it I'm like I have to shit right now <laughs> yeah. watery violent yeah. diarrhea yeah. Shit. explosive yeah, yeah. yeah. explosive yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. like literally and, uh, and my stomach went boom, 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 boom. oh yeah 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 <laughs> so. <laughs> you feel it it's like a Dr. Dre joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're like this is a bubbler. Yeah. So you feel like it hitting like different like notches in your stomach. Yeah. 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 It, it definitely. Yeah. Sh- <laughs> yeah. It definitely shifts. Yeah. So it's I like, say, yeah. change. I go to Shane. I go, Shane, <laughs> diarrhea is hitting me right now. Can you host this? And he goes, I'm not hosting. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Go, at, at, before he gets the sentence out, I'm racing up the stairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and as I'm running up the stairs, I go, please. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go and take a waterlogged yeah. nine minute shit. I oh. mean, sweating. I'm wiping as fast as possible. You're making a deal where you're like, I don't have to wipe all of it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get the next comic up yeah, and then I'll yeah. finish the rest. Settle yeah. for a beige. <laughs> That's what I had to do right before. <laughs> so I walked downstairs like nine minutes later. Shane's on stage just to a dead crowd of 15 yeah. people just going, your host has diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> just, I felt so awful. And then I fucking went up and I had to just talk about that for three minutes. Yeah. And, you know, and then I was like profusely apologized. Yeah. Like, and he didn't give a fuck, but it was just like, I always think of that anytime I have like a shit scare. That is so funny. Your host has diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I the second I walked out, it's all here is. 
I'm not supposed to be hosting. Yeah. <laughs> they, and they don't, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know what the fuck he's they talking no idea, about. Yeah. Like, host. Uh, God damn it. So that, this is like a new fear for me that, I, that I've got. And you know, it's so funny. So I tell Colm Turtle this story. Yeah. Colm says to me, he goes, oh, Drew Dunn is the best story about this. Because Drew Dunn, one time as he was headlining, uh, as they were announcing his name, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he had to fart. And sh- he sharded. Yeah. Oh, and he's no. like, and he went up and did the set, just completely, was, you know, with shit leaking out of there. <laughs> Drew Dunn always has like crazy stories. Yeah. Like, so get this: his headlining sets is always like someone's getting arrested. Yeah, there's the like a murder in show. the bathroom yeah. while he's performing yeah. that he yeah. helps <laughs> solve, dude. Like, not it's so his crazy. His crowd work clips yeah. are like all of a sudden there's a lady yeah. being carried out by SWAT. Yeah, he's <laughs> a killer, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. So, so Colin tells me the story. So I tell like my our buddies we have like a voice chat we all get in every night like comics and a couple yeah, you yeah. know comedy adjacent people and i'm just like uh yo i got i heard this i told them the seller story and i go drew's got this amazing story i gotta hear it i gotta get this story from him right yeah so next night drew's at the seller i go dude last night i was here i almost fucking shit myself on stage it was terrifying yeah and i'm sitting there and i'm kind of waiting waiting yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. like he goes not never come on never had the thing and he's like that's crazy yeah and i'm like come on yeah, <laughs> yeah. i go did you ever have anything like that happen like <laughs> knowing yeah. the story already and he goes no, I've never had that. I go. Yeah. Column live too. I'm just literally like. He probably. I'm like, why is this guy holding out? Yeah, on me? yeah. I'm like, I thought we we're friends. We talk every night. Like, yeah. I consider you one of my better friends. What the hell's going on? Yeah. Right? So I go. Colin told me you shit yourself, and uh, yeah. I really want to hear this story. And he's like, what? And I, I he's like, that's not me at all. Yeah. He's like, that never happened to me. So. At this point, I have this like almost this exact same story. I'll say I'll tell it after, but it's <laughs> I almost shit myself when hey, we were, let me, let me when we were in really Arlington. Quickly. Let me finish this real yeah. quick. So we're all sitting around, but this word this word of this is spreading. Everybody's like, "Oh my god, that's terrifying! What a story!" And uh, uh, somebody else goes, "Hey, Colm told me that too that you shit yourself on stage. I got this yeah. great story." So I text Colm in front of everybody. And I'm like, "Hey, it's not Drew Dunn," and he yeah. goes. It absolutely is. He's lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, he's pretty out of it. It's not him. And then he goes, and I'm reading these texts out to everybody, and he goes, well, I'm going to keep telling everyone it was him. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't Drew Dunn. It wasn't Drew. It was like, oh, he didn't have a story about this. God, Dude, I I w- this happened to me like a couple months ago. I was at the stand. It was a Sunday. Yeah. And, I, and I got off, and I was just going straight home. And I saw, I saw, um... I saw a comedian sitting at the bar talking to John, the bartender, yeah. and it was I, – I thought it was Dan Carney. Okay. And I, I know Dan Carney, and I know Sean uh, Malaya, yeah, but yeah. I'm not, like, very close with either of them. Like, right, we, right. I just know – I know of them. I've talked to them before. And that whole week, Dan Carney had been tweeting about – he had food poisoning, and he'd been tweeting about diarrhea. Yeah. Right, right. And I went up I to I remember the, this. I went up to the person at the bar. It wasn't Dan Carney. It was Sean Malaya. <laughs> and I said – How's the diarrhea? <laughs> and he said, uh, he said, what? And, was, and then I say, and then I say, dude, you've been you've been talking about it all week. You can't just expect nobody to ask you about it. <laughs> and, then, and then he just laughs it off. And then like he's like, how you doing? And then he texted me on, when I got home, and he was like. I just realized you thought I was Dan Carney. <laughs> and he just went along with it because he was like, I, I think it would be more awkward. And to Sean is like, the type yeah. of dude to deduce that, like, or try to figure out why yeah. you said yeah. that to him. Yeah, deuce. Like, Come on, folks. Yeah. Um, <sighs> what are we doing here, What folks? are we doing here, folks? Those uh, spicy chicken sandwiches we had at, uh, in Arlington, I, I had to shit. Well, those weren't even, I mean, dude, that's prison food. Yeah, it was uh, Those just... were not, you actually, I think your exact words were, this is a sl- level below prison food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and I ran the light because I had to shit. I was just stuck. I couldn't move. <laughs> 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 I couldn't, I like... I've I've been on the road with Sass a bunch of times. Never ran the light ever, and I just I I, I knew if I took a step, that shit was gonna, <laughs> was gonna slide out of my asshole down my leg. In a red alert. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, comedy club food, comedy club food mixed with like the nerves, yeah. of oh, being about God. to go up, yeah. is like the worst combination. Like you go to a fucking helium, you get the buffalo bites, and then you got to go on stage, and the second you're about to go up, you're like, I have. So much diarrhea well, in my body right now. But you're also the problem is, and I think about this every headlining set. You're locked in for 42 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. 
for, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like you're like it, I might have to storm off. Like, what yeah. I, I heard a story that this happened. I think to, to, to a big comic. Yeah. that uh, he got five minutes in and he was like, "I'm sorry, I have to shit," and he got yeah. off. Yeah, and he shit, and they thought it was like part of the set. Yeah. so they were like all staying laughing. And then yeah. he came back and yeah. did the rest of the set. Dude, my right leg went numb. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. I, I couldn't. Was, Dude, I heard a story about a, a comedian. <laughs> Uh, I was Bert. I heard a story that Bert was uh, filming when he was filming his special, like the last show. He got like really drunk, yeah, and he had to get off stage to piss in the middle of the set, and then he just had to come back out and just continue the yeah, joke. Yeah. I think that's. Didn't he also hold up a T-shirt of his of his shit he that shit he, he wiped shit his pants? Yeah, he shit his pants, and wiped yeah. with his wiped shirt. it with a shirt, and then held the shirt yeah. up. I mean, I wish I could really air this out. <laughs> I mean, I just, but you know, who knows? I might get a thousand dollars a week. <laughs> I mean, that's like, uh, like I, I didn't think that was funny, but I bet if you're there, no. If then, I was there, I would probably be howling, laughing at that. I mean, yeah, if you're I'm a fan of the easy, guy, I'm pretty easy. I to would get a leave. Laugh out of. I would legit leave. No, you wouldn't. I would leave if you were there. If you were it there, it would remind me that there was shit in my pants <laughs> <laughs> that I had to take care of. That was probably ninety percent of the people. <laughs> there. Like, they were like, "All right, now this guy's so, I actually got to go too." So brave, everyone. The whole crowd just starts doing. Someone it. else in that fucking arena probably was like, "I'm gonna just gonna shit." Dude, my think pants. about it. If you're <laughs> in an arena, <laughs> if you're in an arena with thousands Dude, of people, why can't yeah. I do it? Somebody in that arena that night, you just see another shit. shirt rise up from <laughs> yeah. the crowd. Yeah. I mean, I saw this photo. I couldn't fucking. It's like Rudy, where they're it. laying out the shirts on the coach's desk. Yeah. The other thing is, like, you literally can't even make fun of any of these people because, like. Word spreads very quickly in those circles, and then you're blacklisted from like oh, yeah. every. What just for talking about? Every, oh yeah, every big podcast. If you make fun of any of these people, you will never work any of their shit. They have so much power and influence on this stuff. But I also wonder, these people are not going to help me anyway. I might as well just fucking go gung ho. That's what got you to where you are. I'm literally nowhere. <laughs> 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 so you are right. <laughs> in an inadvertent way. <laughs> yeah. So All right. Dropping gems, baby. Dropping gems. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. All right, let's fucking wrap this thing up now. I got a shit. We're 30 minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Dude, right, let's do plugs real it's quick. It's not getting better than that. Uh, this it's Friday, it's got it. it has to. <laughs> we just talked about diarrhea yeah. for 15 minutes. Yeah, we just low key <laughs> like ruined our reps with, <laughs> with some big comics. Yeah. Um, Derek, what do you got coming up? You have a new tequila coming out. I heard. Yeah, what's it called? <laughs> Dos I, poor f- <laughs> <laughs> Dos homos. Uh, I will be at Rodney's Comedy Club. Oh, that's right. This Friday, 7:30, hosting for the great Lev Fur. That'll be good, dude. That that room, <laughs> that room could be so good. Like if that room's packed, have you it's ever done that room dump. packed? It it's won't a... be that night. <laughs> I've never done. I've only ever done it with like I'm nine people. Come it's out so if you're in New York. Like, be headlines. Everybody like it's a fucking hellhole. <laughs> well, I mean, that's me with every yeah. club I go to. You know what's so funny? I brought Doug Urim to feature for me, and uh, and by the way, shout out Rodney's. But I I'm just we're fucking around. But I brought Doug Urim to feature for me somewhere, yeah. and he just kind of was like riffing in the middle of a set, and he's like. He had to catch himself because he's like, he said out loud, he goes, I almost called this place a dump, but I want to be invited back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like accurate description of what working Can I in guess comedy what place like. that was? No, no. I've done that before. Like, Just, I've called places a dump no. before. Really? But I, 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 I feel like the staff is usually pre understood. Like, I did, like, when I did House of Comedy in Bloomington. Yeah, yeah. I, I was making jokes about that place the whole time well the waiters love it the manager's Don't in a fedora yeah. and he is oh, pissed guy, yeah. in like, arlington i was shitting all over that club while i was hosting. yeah i don't like yeah. it i think no, it's, i think feature. it's bad manner personally it probably yeah. is no I dude i had violent fucking diarrhea from the fucking food it was bad well, i mean dude it was your fault for getting the food yeah there. two I nights in a row too it. if you're gonna get food from a club you gotta get just get the- i'll take the jalapeno yeah. prison poppers yeah. <laughs> you gotta just get like the flatbread Jal- pizza jalapeno prison poppers the title of this episode is gonna be i'll settle for beige yeah. <laughs> that's a great line. and that's that actually that's harry's last name i'll settle for beige is it yes harry well, settle it's a little long hmm. i'll settle for beige. settle for beige <laughs> harry i'll settle for beige harry i'll settle for beige <laughs> Sasquatch, <laughs> doctor, doctor Harry on silver beige Sasquatch. Um, you guys know this next guy. Yeah. What, what do you got coming up, Harry? Nothing. Good. 
I don't like calling you Harry. It feels. Uh, I, you can call me anything. I don't care. Yeah. We can still call him Sass, but when we bring him on, dude, stage. I almost said okay and then the N word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I backed out. I was like right oh, there. You should have did that. Like. I should have done it. Uh, I only change the cha- the name thing doesn't really bother me. It only bothered me for being at clubs. Yeah, it like, is it, wild like, to call. To you're bring about to up start selling called, less tickets. Probably, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it bothered me not even like head like headlining. I didn't even give a shit about it. It was like when I went to do when I did the store when I was in L. A. Yeah, and I got to get brought up as little Sasquatch. I was like, oh, this is just embarrassing. Yeah, it's yeah. and it's not it a black sucks. guy getting yeah. brought up. This is the yo, right give it up for little Sasquatch, yo. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah. And then everyone's looking at the lineup and they're like, who the fuck is that guy? And <laughs> I was like, it's me, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, that's me. oh, that's me, actually. That used to be my Twitter username. <laughs> and immediately everybody hates you. Did you change you. your Twitter <laughs> handle? No. Oh, yeah. And that person won't even watch your set and they'll walk into the green room and be like, they got this stupid fucking Twitter meme kid. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, yeah. You know, they'll just immediately think you stink. Yeah. They don't know that he know- that he got jokes. They'll be like, why do you think he sucks? They'll be like, oh, this guy Lev told me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you golf, Harry? I played golf in high school. Really? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I was on the golf team. So I'm learning golf. Yeah, you're, you're I at like the it. driving range. Yeah, but I, that's like the only thing that you have to do. No, I got to go to the <laughs> pitching pot. I got to work on my short game. Short game helps. Is there no? They don't have like a chipping area at the range. I don't know. Because a lot of ranges do. Not a not a Chelsea Piers, there's but there's yeah, there is a golf pier. course in the Bronx that's owned by Donald Trump. I, I want to go to the pitching pot in Queens this week. Ideally. Is there batting cages there, too? I'll go. I don't know. <laughs> this is a totally different sport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking Sass is on, do dude, Sass is on why a sport. Why would they, they, have, go golf? Why would they golf? have a batting, a batting cage a lot of at pitching, the ra- A lot of pitching putts have a batting cage with them. I hope you break your hip. <sighs> Me, too. Well, not, on, not on the peptides, baby. I'm getting a <laughs> list of comics together that want to golf and hit the driving ranges. I will do it with you. I was talking to Harry. Okay. Yeah, I would do it maybe. I, I, I haven't really been into golf since I stopped playing in high school. Why'd you stop playing? Because I graduated high school. Really? I played until uh, through senior year, but after that, I was you like... You need golf at Dartmouth? Why would you stop? <laughs> Where'd, Where'd you go, go to school again? I didn't go to Dartmouth. Where'd you go? Dartmouth. If I went to Dartmouth, I definitely wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go, Villanova? You'd be at Francis's you... tea yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go again? DePaul. DePaul. I knew it was something with a D. Is Illinois. Sh- Sean DePaul. Sean DePaul. school in Chicago. I went for like four months total. Yeah. And then dropped his, out. His Twitter yeah. blew up. No, my Twitter had nothing to do <laughs> with it. dropped out because he got a viral tweet? <laughs> yeah. I was on BuzzFeed. I'm fucking, <laughs> fucking out of here. Here's three reasons why I'm dropping out, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Wasn't your, your sister was at the school at the same time as you, right? She's got no, fat she tits. she didn't go to DePaul. Oh, 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 my bad. No, my sister went to a way better school. Okay. Really? Like, miles better. Wow. DePaul was the only school I could get into. <laughs> well, it was either, I was good. I was debating on going to DePaul or Pace. Pace University? Yeah. One of my Jersey? first girls in Manhattan. Pace. Oh. Now I need a pacemaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Keep up. Shit. <laughs> we move fast on this podcast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. What are, where are we at? What do you got? I don't like how this is covered up now. It is just like, this like one way glass. <laughs> they can see us. We can't see them. No, there's a fucking <laughs> there's a tarp in the way. Right I laughed. It's <laughs> okay. I, I laughed. That. Didn't that used to always be they could see us? Yeah, there's glass yeah, behind but it, but it's covered. He does a green now. screen now. I haven't seen this. I'm I said I laughed. Up. He looked back to see how we reacted, I feel like, and I was saying I laughed. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he, realized, <laughs> he realized that he That is he something I would definitely do. <laughs> Like when my dad used to draw when he used to drive us around, he would make a joke and then he would like we'd be like on the highway going like ninety. And <laughs> yeah. He'd be like fully turned around to see if anyone's <laughs> laughing. That's a bit. You like that one? And then everyone would be like, turn around. <laughs> Not till you laugh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so I've been trying to hit the driving range as much as I can. I went with Drew Dunn. He really helped me out. Yeah. My swing. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a golfer. And in, in a big swing, he shit himself. <laughs> He'll deny it. <laughs> to the day he but I know what I saw. I've got a great swing. I got a buttery swing. Really? Natural. Yeah. I'm sold. Yeah. I don't know about that. I promise I you. Seen, I, I seen you swing. swing. I seen you swing. Come a teach times me, dude. Last I need me see a swing a baseball bat. That's yeah. not the same thing. It's your Softball fucking bat. head. Softball. Sass. Uh, me and Softball Sass almost sucks. got into a fight a couple weekends ago. 
What happened? Not with even some, close. With some other guys. Really? No, Derek almost Did you hide his glaucoma fight. medicine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Derek tried to fight a group of like 40 finance dudes who were all jacked. <laughs> And in like incredible, just do shape. better on stage. You don't have to fist fight the audience. <laughs> this wasn't at a show. This is at a softball game. What happened, dude? It, it was. It, we were playing. We played. It was like all good times, you know. Like we we get there, we're warming up. Everyone's throwing the ball around. We're having a blast. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, and good then the game it. starts, and all of a sudden, like an energy just like shifts. <laughs> <laughs> like. Like we're like, like softball like, game. Yeah, you're like sl- you're like jogging out to the to you know the fields. <laughs> And uh, Derek's run faster, <laughs> like like crazy shit like that. And then like we let up like three runs in the first inning. Yeah. And and uh, our, our bench is playing music, and the other bench is playing music. Derek comes over, screams at everybody, tells us to turn the music off, says it's not a hip hop concert. <laughs> and then he dude, became a full on white asshole. Dude, no, it gets worse. <laughs> and then he goes over to the other team's bench. And he goes, turn the fucking music off. <laughs> and they're like, what, dude? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What's the matter with you? And, and it's like all these, like, they're like kids my age, and they're all, like, jacked. Yeah, they're ripped. They're all, like, you know they all run, like, nine miles. Like, they probably finished that game <laughs> yeah, in a way yeah. they run, ran BJJ, 10 miles. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and they're like, Derek's like, turn the fucking music off. And they're like, I think we're going to leave the music on, dude. <laughs> and uh, and, they're, and he's like, I'll come over there and I'll turn it off for you. <laughs> And they're like, they're like, dude, see what happens if you try and do that. <laughs> and then they're playing the song, and then uh, and then Derek Derek goes, "Have you heard the remix to one? It's called Suck My Dick." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And then the umpire stops the game. Yeah. Stop. Why were you doing this? It was. I was crazy. trying to fire up the boys. <laughs> it, it wasn't even like he wasn't firing anyone up. Everyone was just like, "This is weird." He's getting his ass beat <laughs> yeah. with softball bats yeah. oh, no. in the dugout. We, dude, we, we got won the next sm- game. Okay, we got smoked that game. Yeah. No, we. I'm lost amazed seven, that you showed up to this. Seven to yeah. four. It, it was last, a fun. That's the last time. We. It no. was a fun. <laughs> We, Why'd we, you just bore it? We up? crushed. We crushed the next team. We crushed the next team because it was legitimately Retards. a retarded team. Yeah, really? they were like, there like they had like they had like you know like when they when like you got a kid in your class who's a little off and he has yeah, like yeah. just like some random lady that's always hanging out with him. Yeah, they had like twenty of those. <laughs> It looks like the fucking Kill Tony green room. Yeah, bro, they, they were definitely off. <laughs> Nothing because, but absolute dude, killers. <laughs> every at bat they came up, they you were just like, knew these guys had at least a minute in them. <laughs> they were like eyeing me down. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" They were like, "This is for everybody." They made fun of me in high school. It was yeah. like that kind of energy. But then yeah. they would they like they were like, they would like walk to the plate after they hit because they like aren't capable of running. <laughs> Dude, like shit like that, dude. They were like getting hit in the face with the balls and shit. It was insane. And, and what anyway. you do with them after hours is nobody's <laughs> business. And then we won, and we were all like, "We fucking smoked those pussies." <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna come back now. A win's a win. No, I'll baby. come back. Right. But it's gonna. Who else interfere. was playing on this? It was uh, uh, Polichuk is on the team. Really? Yeah. What? Wow. Jared Waters. Fucking Sergio Chacon. I'm amazed. Yeah. The problem is all those guys are actually like good at baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Danny Danny went like five for five. Yeah, like two. Danny's wow. good. Uh, Jared I Jared usually see him good. get a four for four. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I won't I won't do that anymore. Because the umpire stopped the game. He's like, yo, he's like fucking. Well, you know like how you know how like black dudes you can like you can say anything and then if you start saying something that's like a little bit gay, the yeah, yeah, energy yeah. shifts. Oh, it was yeah. like that. It was yeah. the umpire was an old black dude. Yeah. And as soon as Derek said, suck my dick. He stopped the game. In New York, that's as big of an insult. Yeah. As well, they didn't understand that obviously because they're not. They weren't from right, here. Right. But... Yeah, I didn't get that until well until I lived here. That and <laughs> after you got your ass beat a couple <laughs> <Yeah>. times. <laughs> well, I just told him to suck my dick. I yeah, that's what that's big... fighting words in New York City. Well, yeah. that's yeah. And then once he came out, I was. That's like, why it's the homophobia. I just put that together. Oh yeah, they that's just hate gay people. Yeah. yeah. He was like, y'all motherfuckers need to calm down. Yeah. It's like you ever work in like a kitchen with like Jamaican dudes. Yeah, you can't say shit like yeah, that. Dude, if you eat like a hot dog around those guys. Yeah, they'll beat you to death. Like, what the oh, fuck one time I was worried. I always worked with Mexican guys. And uh, I one time I'd shot at your mom joke at this guy. Yeah. And it, literally, we were friends for a year. And he's like, I will see you after work. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> like, it was Bro, like they literally don't on around. a dime. And I was like, hey, man, I'm not from here. I didn't know that's like a thing. He's like, yeah. so when, like, where I grew up, that's just fair game. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just fun. You Canelo, know? when he, he was. Uh, uh, yeah, motherfucker. He, some guy called him a motherfucker. He's like, oh, I, I fuck my mother? He's like, no, no, no. Like, I'm calling you like a, a yeah. motherfucker. Oh, oh. like he. It's like the biggest insult. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. like, I'm going to kill you. 
Yeah. They're going to kill you. Yeah. But that guy, didn't he say? He was like, if someone said that to me, I'd I'd beat their ass. Yeah. The ump. Yeah, yeah he said that. He goes, yeah, I, I'd go over, I'd hit you with a bat if you said yeah. that to me. And I knew I was going to need the bat if they came over. Dude, you're, you're, they would catch the bat with one <laughs> hand, and then they would just kill you. Nah, I would have been swinging. It was like, dude, it was literally like 30 finance dudes who were like, there's like they gyms were like drinking, in their office. Yeah, they're like they're drinking like, while dude, playing. Dude, you're out of your mind. I don't care. Our team should be good, but we're so bad. Yeah, like everyone, that was a winnable game for us. I everyone think I on would our do team. This. I don't think I'd be a good hitter. I think I could be okay in the outfield. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, you, where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? You would definitely be a good hitter. Dude. You would Soft shake pitch. You oh. would shake the whole it's field. Like t ball. It's not like t ball. It, dude, the ball comes in like this. Dude, that kid that pitched <laughs> against us in the third game. That is mine, dude. It is mine. You guys play the fucking World well, hit Series. The, hit, hit the cages. Hit the cages. And you come don't out. have to hit the cages. You can just come. Harry. I'm not hitting no fucking cages. Do you want to give the ball a ride? <laughs> <laughs> they do. They hit the cages on, I'm on Saturday golf, morning. Dude, I'm fascinated like with golf rain. right now. No, we, got, we practiced. We did BP. Was, uh, was the... Have you been watching? Have you watched any golf? Oh, yeah. I've been watching golf is time. awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking cool, man. Yeah. It's I used really to like cool. to play it on PlayStation. Oh, really? I never yeah. did that. Yeah, anybody jump in and relate right now. <laughs> <laughs> you ever play Tiger Woods golf? Yeah. No, it's... I just remember that South Park episode where they're like, press X to, to flee the cops. <laughs> Wait, what? Because he, he was in trouble? They're playing the <laughs> they're playing Tiger Woods, uh, the Tiger Woods game, and they're playing it at GameStop, like the trial, and they're like, fuck, we just hit a tree. They're like, press X to <laughs> the flee. The whole driving drunk thing? You don't remember that? No, I yeah. never saw that. Oh, yeah. That was like, Life, like got... jumped There's on like 10 years shit. of South Park I missed. I, I've only seen like a couple episodes. Oh, I just mean the whole time. That happened in real life to Tiger yeah, Woods. He, he like, yeah, he yeah. like smashed his car into a tree. And then his wife came out and was like swinging golf clubs. She was like the on the hood of the car. Yeah, yeah. and then it, awesome. and then somehow at the same time, that's when it came out that he had an affair. Yeah, yeah, he we, she did that because yeah. he was cheating on her. But he was cheating on her with like seven hundred yeah. different and, women, and they all look the same. They yeah. all blonde hair. Well, yeah. Apparently, I mean, did you watch the HBO doc on him? Apparently, like just the only thing that was ever taught to him was like. You're gonna golf, and yeah. if nothing else matters, and you will be a golfing robot. Oh, yeah, God. and like, yeah, and he, this, uh, anything else, he was just like quick sex gratification. Yeah. Let me get pussy yeah. and right back to golf. Fuck bitches, play golf. Yeah, but then they pulled him over in. I uh, love him. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's the best American they, hero, dude. They pulled him over in like Florida or some shit. Where that was a couple years later. Yeah. yeah, they pulled him over in, uh, or like maybe in California with a hooker, like, right? No, he was with like a Hooters waitress or some shit. Fucking awesome. And they were like, "Where, where are you?" And he was like, "Miami." They had no and idea. He, where... he was like, he was on the other the side drunk of the country. Video, right? He was, I think, he was on Xanax. Yeah. I mean, the, the guy had a hard life. He's fucking out there playing golf since he was like seven. Yeah. Like literally. Yeah. 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 I don't care. Sweep it under the I rug. Don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. He's still the best. Still the best. Oh yeah, for sure. He's I don't the give man. a fuck. I like him more than John Daly. Daly Everyone was the does. man though too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm like fascinated with this game. The, the whole reason I got interested by it is because it just looks so hard and outside my wheelhouse. Yeah. It's amazing what one lesson with somebody who knows more than you can do. I went from like literally bricking 10 shots in a row, just slamming the mat. Yeah. And at one point, I was like, the first day I was on the, uh, hitting with a driver. My ball was like literally going into the next stall oh, at yeah, like a hundred yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. While another dude is trying to yeah. get a perfect swing going. I'm still kind of driving was always the one thing I was awful at. I'm shocked. Apparently that's the hardest thing. Yeah, because it's the club face is so big, so it's so easy to fuck it up. Yeah. yeah. I used to just use a three wood instead of a driver. I was playing with uh, a five hybrid the other day and I loved it. I yeah. was hitting nice hits with that. I mean, dude, the best the the well, thi- the what? thing that I did, that we, one thing that we learned when I was when I played golf was our coach made us. We had a practice one day, and he's in. He was trying to teach us uh, like smart golf. Yeah. And he made us go out, and we only could bring three clubs, including a putter. And we and I, I shot like the best round I've ever had. When you I play golf, do you play like? Is the people you're playing against playing next to you? No. You're usually a hole behind you or ahead of you. Oh, I didn't know that. That sucks. You can't even talk shit. Or you'll anything. play like you'll play in foursomes in tournaments. So it'll be like it'll be usually, or it depends on what, like in team golf. Like when I played in high school, we would play in foursomes. So it'd be me and one other kid on my team, and then two kids on the other team. And then at the end, you just add up all the scores. You guys start chirping? No, not really. It's pretty it's respectful. A gen- gentleman's game. Yeah, it's also yeah. just like you're you're with them I, for fucking three hours. I'm gonna stand <laughs> by my fucking behavior. Only. Due to the fact is, you can't play ball with music blasting. 
You can't. I actually didn't mind it, but of course, I think of I course can, you didn't. I think of I course can. you didn't, Sass, because you're from this new fucking well, it's generation. A, it's a it's a beer league softball team. Like that's like kind of the whole. The other team was drinking. Were they really? Yes, the entire time. The second team? No, the first team. Oh, all right. I don't think it's that crazy to play music. I, I think what I'm just seeing is that this league means a lot more to one of you. Oh, and Derek's obsessed. Well, I didn't realize that they didn't win a single game last year, so yeah, <laughs> he was so fired up. Oh, dude. I was giving speeches in between games and I wish I was bro. there. I would have given you so much shit. I can't believe you let this yeah. fucking guy yell at you about we're music. Dude, oh, I'm not going to name names, but people were like doing push ups because Derek told them to. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Who else is on this league? Don't worry about at it. At the end of the game, dude, he was like, he, he goes, he gets who... saw in a huddle, he goes, who made an error? And then a couple of people raised their hand, like comedians that we know. What the fuck yeah. is and going then, on? And then they, they dropped and gave Derek 20. Yeah, I go, I go, who made an error? They returns, I go, push ups. I would never in my life yeah. drop and give Derek 20. No amount of money. Don't make no. an error. No. Don't I, make an error. I'll make plenty of errors. <laughs> <laughs> this is psychotic. I need the names of who this is. This is fucking, these people need to come on here and answer. This is fucking insane. Dude, I'm a great coach. It's a fucking fake league. Yeah. It's for the glory, baby. Have we got baby. the schedule for Sunday? Yeah, yeah. I just got. He just emailed me. What'd he say? Eleven a.m., baby. We're done by noon. Oh, okay. Yeah. That works. Yeah. Sass, we're gonna get you back in a golf. I would go to the range sometime. Really? I would go play too. It's just. Uh, you still have clubs? No, not here. Are they at my parents' house? I have to get them. I'll go pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be there anyway. <laughs> I'm getting into Oasis. The band? Yeah. Really? What yeah. a faggot. They're fucking cool, man. Yeah, they're back. They're Champagne coming back. Supernova. Yeah, they they just got reunited. I got into them like I don't know a month ago. I started watching shit. And what are they? Sudden, Liam Gallagher and Noel Gallagher. Yeah, dude, they're fucking badasses, man. They're they're just like we're the fucking best band, man. Everybody else fucking sucks. They're so funny. They're like hilarious. This guy Liam, like the 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 dude from uh, the 1975, Matt Healy. Yeah, he did an interview. He was like. Man, it's it's bullshit. You guys have like the coolest fucking band in the world, and you won't do it because of a fucking tiff with your brother. Like, get back together, make the band. You're alive. You could do it. Yeah. And they played this for Liam, and he was like, <clears throat> he's like, he needs to worry about his fucking shit band. <laughs> 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 he just rules. Yeah, he's like yeah. really a rock star. Oh, right? the yeah. brothers were beefing. <laughs> yeah, for 15 years. Don't fucking die on us right oh, here. My throat. Stop sucking cock. It's right? good. You guys fill the air. You know what I'm saying. Fucking professionals here. I don't know what the fuck they do at Barstool. I have no idea. There's no instinct whatsoever. Like, run a fucking show. Lev's down. What do we do, bro? I'm. Be, it's your show. He's on a gas. You got that? You got that clip? You got that clip, Natalie? It's your show. I'm not leading the leading the charge here. Uh, let's fucking hurry up, though. Nine more minutes, folks. Eight and a half. What are we talking about? Yeah, but these these guys are fucking badass. And yeah, they got some amazing songs. I remember Champagne Supernova. The song oh, Wonderwall. Slide something's of great. Uh, Supersonic is one of the best songs I've ever heard. How's that one go? Uh, it opens and he's like, uh, I gotta be myself. Dun, 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 dun. I, all right, play it. <laughs> oh. I can't be someone else. Oh, oh no. no. That's the band. Now listen to the changes as it goes. It's phenomenal. I'm only, every time we play a song, the episode gets demonetized. It's worth it. I was going to say, we can't. All right, sure. They got to hear this. They let you play music. You just can't make money on the... Oh, God. This, this is going to cost me $25, boy. <laughs> Wait, what, sorry. What, which hey, one you don't get $25 in that. I do, fuck. yeah. For real? At least. I'm sorry. What was the name of the song again? Uh, Supersonic by Cock Oasis. Meat Sandwich. You guys are going to love this. By Lev Fur. So what's the deal? You can play music. I think you can only play it for like 10 seconds. All right, so give us just Yeah, a, you can get a little bit of it, but... Um, cut it Cut it at nine, Nat. Okay. Maybe skip to like the middle or happens. some shit. Damn. Look or I can just mute it for the YouTube version and play arm, it for baby. the You'll guest version. Okay, I like that idea. Peptides running. Because I feel like the, the viewers will know the song. Sorry, I'm I'm waiting for that to end. The viewers won't know the song. They're gonna know the song. The viewers are cool. What fucking comedian at the cellar got you in Oasis? <laughs> no, I'm, all right, stop, stop it. No, 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 wait. Let it cook. Give it fucking. No, three I know seconds. the song. Let it cook. Song sucks. Tell us this fucking song sucks. Play dude. it. Play it. Play it. You love it. I don't hate it. All right, ready? Here we go. No, let do them.
Ladies and gentlemen. Lefer. <laughs> 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 that I mean, kill. This riff. Kill. This fucking I riff. I don't. I don't just like it. It's off. <laughs> the lyrics are great. Nah. That shit rips. I thought it was a banger. That's a fucking banger, dude. I like if it's gonna guys. help you lose weight and get steps, then I'm all well for it. Do you ever like envision? Uh, like I, I always want to have like a cool walkout song, but the walkout song doesn't walk doesn't really work well yeah, yeah. when the audience stops clapping before yes. you're even on stage. And it's always too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I just go play whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah. I do. I just I do sad but true. I'd love like a walkout song where like like it, they're <laughs> they're <laughs> like standing like fired up yeah. and you're walking out <laughs> and the song's still playing. I can see Derek's instincts. When we played that, he was like, "Cut that fucking music <laughs> oh, yeah, off!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just came back out. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm getting into Oasis. I'm also trying to get into country. And uh, if you, if there's a country song you love, comment da it below. David Allen Coe, if that ain't country. I like uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is good. But, but I'm I don't even know if that's like real contemporary. Country. Oh, newer country. The newer mm. stuff. There's but some like Zach good Bryan. stuff. Morgan Wallen, these kind of cats, you know? I like Waylon Jennings. I don't think I know him. Maybe Morgan Wallen got Willie in trouble Nelson. a couple years ago for like screaming the N-word at yeah, someone. Yeah. yeah. He could get a job here if shit fails in the music <laughs> industry. Well, I, the, he's got they an new office manager. He's got an unreleased song where he, that I heard on TikTok, and I was like, "Oh, this is fucking great." Yeah, people like him. Yeah, that hooked me on. I mean, he's selling out fucking stadiums, so yeah. Yeah. All right, the last thing we'll talk about today, um, we got to talk ball at some point. This is true. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I was going to talk about Tucker Carlson, but <laughs> yeah. We gotta talk ball. Tucker Carlson's dude. a good guy. I don't know. No, he's a fucking piece of shit. No, what did he do he's wrong? He's a fucking piece of shit. What did he do? He's a fisherman. He's a fisher. He's not. He's a fly fisherman. He's Bro. a fly fisherman. He's not that cool when he fishes. Wild fly. Uh, he's a nice guy. No, here's what I'm gonna tell you about Tucker Carlson. He just had, it's still up on Twitter right now. He goes, Today I'm interviewing America's greatest uh, living historian. The, and he did a whole interview with this guy. In this interview, Cat Williams. In the interview, the guy literally says, like, Churchill was the villain of World War II. He says that the Holocaust was like just a logistical fuck up where they didn't realize they didn't have enough food to feed all these people. They were <laughs> intentionally Holocausting. Oh, and the wow. whole time, uh, fucking Tucker's wow. like, oh, wow, that is fascinating. I'm very sorry, we have no food to feed you. So literally, he platformed Please. this guy. The guy's tweets are literally like deleted tweets where he's like showing pictures of Hitler and Nazis going, like, this is better than what they're doing in France at the Olympics. Like, everyone could agree yeah, yeah. this is better. Like, the guy is legitimately a Nazi sympathizer. Insane, yeah. yeah. Like, fucking insane. Tucker puts him on the platform. Elon Musk is such a fucking irresponsible retard that he retweets it and goes, this is fascinating. It's a must watch. So now you have, like, so many views on yeah. this guy. Who's he wrote, it's a Musk watch. Must watch. Oh, uh, must, must watch. watch. Nice. <laughs> so literally reshare this shit. Like, it, it's not a fucking game, man. This shit is, like, very dangerous crazy yeah. shit to be I, I agree with you so I and it's you. still up on fucking tucker's twitter and all this shit like dude you owe a fucking apology to this country that is unbelievable to right wing grift that fucking hard yeah. where you're like let's rewrite history churchill is the villain of world war ii yeah yeah like what a fucking embarrassment to this nation to do something like that i agree so and it's all for money and now like the the main thing right now like the right wing grift has moved to because nobody gives a fuck about like all the old shit the new thing is Hitler was right. Yeah. Nice. So now you got Andrew Tate just screaming the N word and going Hitler was right, <laughs> and retards being yeah. like, oh, I, "I need to question." That's things. a right wing yeah. grift. Yeah, that's yeah, a that new is, thing. Uh, the 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 right wing riff. and all these fucking people like Nikki Haley, RFK, Tulsi Gabbard. They're all what I realize like what all these fucking people that come out and endorse a candidate that they said is Hitler, JD Vance, all these people. It's all just I want a job. Yeah. You yeah. might win. I want a fucking job because yeah. a job in Politics means power. Yeah. And that's all. And it, it makes me fucking sick. Bro, to... social media, like, it just, it disgusts me. Like, I, I, I barely go on Instagram anymore. I post a picture of my cat on my story once in a while, some stuff like that. But I'm just tired of seeing this shit. Like, Twitter is particularly the worst of it. Yeah. It's just a cesspool. Uh, Twitter's a cesspool. It's that's a fucking, took the words right out of my mouth. I hate that fucking place. I literally, when Elon was buying that's it. That's where Sass got famous. Well, I, I don't, don't really use Twitter message, anymore. Saying... When Elon was Tweeting buying it, like I was that. like, fuck yes. I was yeah. like, fuck all these like corporate censorship and all this shit. 
Let, like, f- let's go free speech. And I go, oh, you turned this into something way worse. Oh, it's like significantly worse. It is. Yeah. It is a dis- like I fucking hate that. Well, it's also just now. all like rage bait and like yeah, and just like yeah, just like genuine racism. The clicks you can yeah. get with ads they play. It's it's all horseshit. But that's not even they do. They're not even making that. That was like clearly inflated the first week that it came out to so people would subscribe to. Twitter premium, yeah, because no, those people aren't making fucking like the, the first week it came out, they were like, I made forty thousand dollars this week, this week tweeting, and now it's like I made three dollars this week. Yeah, tweeting. oh yeah, they do that with all the social media platforms like Instagram. You used to be able to make a decent. Well, there's also amount of just money. no real advertisers on Twitter yeah. anymore. Yeah. Because no one wants to advertise. Be in bed with And Elon dude, Musk, I have yeah. friends that are like really like, especially tech people who are really into Twitter because they're still like tech bros who are all yeah, over yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I see they're like radicalized fucking far right people. I had like a friend at a party of mine recently. They're doing a little blow and a little, you know, doing yeah. a little bit of time. Screaming at me, you you didn't see this? This guy endorsed this guy. Watch the video. Watch the video. Yeah. I look up the video. I play it. I'm like. No, he didn't. You got yeah. fake news yeah. on Twitter. Like, yeah. it's just such a fucking cesspool of misinformation. And every day I see it, I go, "Oh, this is misinformation." Yeah. It's hitting millions and millions yeah. of fucking people. I think what Tucker, I think Tucker should genuinely have to fucking answer for that shit. I think it's unbelievable to fucking put a Nazi sympathizer. I'd be like, greatest living historian. Yeah, yeah. And 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 listen to that fucking shit. And, and yeah, it, it, it makes me sick. Anyways, football is back tonight, folks. You ever watch that? Uh, you ever watch that episode of Succession where they have the anchor that gets hired and he's like super right wing and they they have to like go ask him about it because they're like apparently it's worse than they thought no and they're like you ever read uh he's like just like out of curiosity yeah, you yeah. ever read like mein Kampf? and he's like yeah like once or twice <laughs> <laughs> and he's like twice really you didn't you didn't pick everything up the first time <laughs> i vaguely remember this yeah. i gotta rewatch that show the problem is season two just stinks i didn't mind it you didn't mind it no. i thought it was very slow i liked that whole that show was great but i also i i timed it like accidentally but it was perfect i yeah. finished season three the week season four was dropping great so i love that show because it's a lot deeper than than people let on it, it's yeah. very like you're, it, a lot of it is just like the type of person that be, can become that killer, yeah. that Rupert Murdoch, and his kids are never that. Yeah, but they're all fighting for that. Yeah. Of like I want to be that. That's what Dad wants. That's how I get Dad's approval. They really just want the approval. Yeah, uh, of their father, which they can never get because the only thing he knows. Yeah. is that. and I think he he like loves his children, but he's still like they're all fucking idiots. Yeah, because right. to his barometer. Like in relationship, they fucking are. Yeah. Like, and how can they not be growing up in that wealth with yachts and all this shit? Like, they're gonna be fucked up. You yeah. Know? Everybody we know who's a fucking millionaire in comedy is fucked in the head. Oh, they're all, dude. Yeah. And all famous people are going insane. That's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be able to look at myself in the mirror if I did some of that shit. Like the shit, like Tucker putting that guy, putting that, giving that guy a platform. The Andrew Tate. That's stuff. the thing I don't get is yeah. how do you like rationalize that to yourself? How do you sleep? As a person yeah. How do you go to sleep? Selling out the fucking soul. Of your it, it's one thing if stuff is done like try like I don't know if you're if you're trying to do comedy out of it and whatever it bombs you know you're trying to be funny but when it's the stuff is said seriously it's seri- like, and also that guy has a number one podcast now his show exploded like platforming these people like genuinely has consequences you like. And I don't think you have to uh, cater what you do to the dumbest people. Yeah. Right. But that's also like for art and comedy. This is not art or yeah, comedy. This, this is, is like, hate. Just hate speech. Yeah. It's yeah. just fuck. It's a rewriting of history. Jew hating. Um, Sass, who you got? Ravens or the Chiefs? Ravens. Thursday I night. Football. I haven't sat on it enough to think about it, but probably. I'm not even going to touch that. Sat on it. Uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> sat on his dick. Probably the Chiefs, unfortunately. I I th- think, I'm taking I think, Ravens. I think the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs just get it done. But Mahomes. also the Ravens. The Chiefs lost their home o- their opener last year, and also the Ravens lost to the Chiefs at the end of last season. So there could be a little like how many matches are on the floor right now? The Ravens. <laughs> what autistic rain rain man joke? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So the Ravens. The Ravens might. Uh... Patrick Mahomes gets hurt. Ravens I just play. don't believe in the Ravens. Just don't the Ravens are unbelievable. They're just gonna. I don't think they're gonna win the Super Bowl necessarily. My prediction for this season: the Jets get to the AFC Championship and lose. Yeah, I no. don't know. I don't think. I mean, the prob- The good thing about the Jets is that they have uh, the probably the best defense in the league. Yeah, or one of top three easily. Lions, baby. I have the be- I have a bet for the Lions to go undefeated. Really? Yeah. What? 
Yeah. Sass hits his bets, dude. I don't. No, no, Sass does not hit his bets. I don't. I occasionally <laughs> Sorry, do. Sass hits his dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I occasionally will hit a bet, but I think the, uh, the dude, Lions have the easiest schedule. If you tell Sass something, he'll make the bet. At Skankfest, we got to, I'm going to lock in. I, I'm, I'm not going to be there in. this year. Oh, yeah. my God. What a yeah. fuck up. I'm, I'll, I'll be there, but wedding. I'm just staying in the room. It's my cousin's wedding. You what? What did you say? He I'll said be he's there, gonna but stay I'm just going to stay in the room. Okay. That works. The Lions have the easiest schedule in the league for how good of a team they are. And yeah, they're also seen. only playing outdoors like twice. They're playing in Green Bay once, and then they're in domes for like the whole season. But Green Bay is a tough game. That's the Thanksgiving game. That's I'm really game. excited for the season. I'm excited to see what Caleb Williams does. I'm excited yeah, to see too. what Jordan Love does. Have you watched does. any hard knocks? Uh, I watched a few episodes. Yeah, yeah. I watched too. all the Giants ones. I'm excited to see what a lot of, the, what a lot of these guys are going to do. Giants will be terrible. Giants are going to be fucking terrible. Texans, I think, are going to get far. At least I think playoffs. I have a bet for the Texans to win it all as well. Really? I have two futures, and one of them is for the Lions to go undefeated, and one of them is for the Texans to win it all. Wow. Really? Well, Texans, I, think that's I think the Texans have the best offense in the NFL. Who's their running back? Uh, Joe Some Mixon, black I think. Guy. He's good. Black Joe guy, Mixon, right? yeah, and he was on the he was like the running back on the Bengals last year. Yeah, dude, their yeah. offense they have Joe. I'm pretty sure they have Joe Mixon, and then uh, they Brees have Hall. they have what? We got Brees Hall. Yeah, buddy. yeah. They have Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, Dalton Schultz, Dolphin CJ Stroud. Schultz is a beast. Oh, Dalton. <laughs> he's like one of the best tight ends in the league. Yeah, he's a beast. So it's I'm all focused on playoff baseball i i cannot i hate that the jets are playing on monday i cannot fucking wait i'm gonna literally stop not putting spots every day the jets they were they played uh they played their opener last year was on monday i know but i I just dude if aaron Rodgers gets hurt again i don't even like care about how the the jets do but just because last year when they got aaron Rodgers, they got all primetime games, yeah. and then they and then sucked. They sucked. And yeah. then you had to just watch Monday Shitty night football and <laughs> yeah. just be the Jets losing by like forty, 40 yeah. every week, yeah. getting five hundred yards from yeah. them. Fucking it sucks. Well, the last time so Rodgers had, had, had a field goal, had a defense this good, he took a fucking Super Bowl home, boy. Yeah. Who? Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Right, I don't want the I Jets. Gotta, I don't want the Jets to win, but I would be I would be happy if they. Were I'd be good. so upset if they if Rodgers got hurt again. But I'm literally expecting within two games he's going to get injured. Yeah, he's old. It's pretty he's great. I feel like if he was worried, he wouldn't play. Yeah, like if I don't he think he's thought worried. if he's he gunster. thought he was going to get injured again that easily, I don't think he would play. Yeah, listen, boys, I got to roll. Yeah, let's all get right. out of here. Yep. All right. We love you guys. Uh, by the sure. way, I'm reading all your comments. I just stopped uh, liking and all that shit. But also, please watch the stand-up <laughs> clips that come out on the YouTube. Please help those go further in the algorithm. We love you guys. Um, yeah, Chicago, New York City tomorrow. And uh, support these boys. We love you. Peace. Bye.